for a look at This Week in Rock. And we start this week in 1976. ACDC made their live debut in the UK playing at the Red Cow Pub in Hammersmith in West London. Better night, that was a great night. Uh, This week marks the anniversary of the death of two American rock singers. First, Kurt Cobain died at his home in Washington on the 5th of April, 1994. And the second is Lane Staley, frontman for Alice in Chains, who died the same day as Kurt in 2002. This week in 2012, the rock world was mourning the loss of 88-year-old Jim Marshall, the man who invented the Marshall guitar amplifier. But we're going to focus on this week in 2022. Mick Jagger has just announced plans to celebrate 60 years at the Rolling Stones, but he's also been busy working on his own project. He's got a new track called Strange Game, and it's a theme tune for an upcoming series on Apple TV called Slow Horses. I spoke to Mick recently about the song, and asked him how it all came about. I was approached by uh, Daniel Pemberton, who's doing the music for the series, and he said, would you be interested in doing the theme song? And he, he sent me the music, but he didn't have any tune or any words or anything. So I said, hmm. But I, 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 I had read some of the books, so I was like ahead of the game, really, because otherwise I would have had to do a lot of homework for it. <laughs> Um, so I knew I knew what the sort of feel of it was, and I knew what the main character was, and I knew the sort of sleaziness of it, and uh, it was quite easy for me just to ramble it down straight away. I just jotted all my ideas immediately down, and I just threw it together really, really quickly of the atmosphere of the office and the people and the, and the characters and so on. And then... Um, just made up the melody. It all happened in like an hour. And then I sent to him and he said, oh, I love it. But then I had to work because then the, then the work begins and I had to kind of tailor make it really because it's a, you know, really this is not really a song that's written for the, to listen to it as a song. It's main, the main thing when you do something like this is it, it's the intro for and setting up the kind of vibe for the, for the series, you know. So when you see, when it comes on, you know, get two minutes at the front and two minutes at the end of the of each episode. So that's, you know, really what you're writing for. You're not really writing a completed song, even though I, I did in the end do a completed song, but that that isn't the main thrust of it. You know, you, you're writing for something that's behind the picture, you know, and you're writing for a definite theme rather than, you know, something normally when you write a song, you write about anything you want, you know, but this is this is a definite theme and a definite mood that you want to evoke. So yeah, it's a different kind of discipline, but it's fun to do. How did you and Daniel describe the kind of mood or the atmosphere that you wanted to create? Daniel kind of just did that in his backing track that he sent me. You know, you I mean it's got a kind of that kind of feel, but. As I'd read the books, I hadn't actually seen at that point the, the, any of the series, but I, I had it in my head of what, how it was going to be. And I imagined Gary Oldman in the part and, and, and so on. So, you know, I, I just instinctively knew what was needed for, to, to, for this sequence that I imagined what the opening sequence was going to be and to do the lyrics from the lead character, from the Gary Oldman character's point of view and also allude to some of the um, you know the other characters that have been all screwed up in their jobs and uh, have flunked out of the of them of being you know high flyers and gone into this you know really creepy kind of side bar of being in the secret service and so on and you know try and say do they have still hope to get back in the game you know that's that that's what they want, and that, that's what the characters want. They want to get, they want to get back into it, you know, rather than just being 
paper pushes and just general dog's bodies, you know. So, so you know, trying to get all that in, you know, three minutes is, you know, well, it's fun to try and do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've certainly done it. It creates the most wonderful atmosphere. Thank you. And it sounds, Thank you very much. It sounds like... Uh, a theme song. I, I just wonder when Barbara Broccoli hears it, whether she's going to kick herself for not asking you for a Bond theme, but maybe she already <laughs> has and you've turned it down. I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> she, she likes her, her, her Bond theme to be rather grand and and very outward <laughs> sung. I mean, lots of TV themes, you know, when you, when you see them when they come up, are very um, explosive, you know. And, but this was, this was somewhat different um, in so far that it was more creepy, you know, and um, more insidious. And so, you know, rather than a big pop chorus or anything like that, you know. So, so this is a different kind of thing. When you recorded the actual What Became the Final Take, were you and Daniel together in a studio or was this... No. We, we, Danny and I have never met, only on Zoom. So we... we, we uh, we were in different countries all the time and we hope to meet up. <laughs> we keep promising to meet up when we're in London. And uh, so we just did everything on Zoom and I, I just recorded everything at home, really. And uh, so uh, we actually, we did go into a studio at one point and did some little messing around, but most of it was done at home. And, um, and then we just fiddled with it and pushed it around because we, you know, you need lots of, you know, to make the, the beginning and the ending, and you need to cut it, edit it, and so on. And um, and then and then then I did the whole song um, as a as a piece. Um, that was the last thing that we did was make the song as a piece. Because you said actually the initial inspiration or getting it down was that was about an hour's work. Yeah. And the notes that I get uh, about this this song was that you and uh, Daniel worked together for a number of months. I, I saw that in the press release, and I said that's a lot. <laughs> um, we never worked for months. <laughs> I said, don't say that in the press release. It isn't true. Um, I mean, Daniel probably, his work on the whole series, probably, yeah, it, it took months for Daniel to do, because he has to do all the underscore, you know, for, for, for several series, you know. So it took him months, but it didn't take me months to do my little bit. <laughs> um, it, took, it took me, you know, a very short time. But that, sometimes that's great. I mean, I love doing things, but if it comes to you straight away, it's really much better, you know. Uh, yeah, you have to do a bit of craft and you have to do editing, and sometimes that takes a while. And, and Daniel had to do, you know, quite a lot of editing to make it fit into the, into the intro and so on. But um, my stuff was done pretty quick. Well, your little bit, as you say, turned out rather well. It's a great track. Thank you very that's so much. That's so, so kind of you, Johnny. Thanks. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah, all the best. Bye-bye, mate. Bye. One, two, three. Oh, make me over. You guys ready? Yeah. The Radio 2 Rock Show with Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. 